Well, on the grounds of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show, there are several autonomous vehicles either being demonstrated or displayed, and Sabanto has one of them. And I'm with Alex, who's a representative of Sabanto. Alex, tell me about the Sabanto system. Well, it's a fairly easy to install system. It takes about a day to put on. Not, not, not anything that's uh, permanently taking the tractor out of factory settings. So we tie into existing systems, um, and through that, we're able to read telemetry data off the tractor. Um, we do on some models have a couple actuators for brakes and um, hydraulic hitch control um, but we use GPS and our own proprietary software to generate uh, tractor paths that will allow the tractor to do all types of field work and um, our path planner is fully customizable. Um, the user sets it as needed and then just starts in the field and it, it, it does its job and we're able to monitor it remotely through our user interface. Now, Sabanto produces a kit that bolts onto a standard factory produced tractor, right? That's correct. And that kit is specific to tractor models. That is it's correct. Not, it's not generic for anything, right? Uh, so when, you, when Sabanto first started out, it had a limited number of uh, tractor models that it would work on. Tell me about that's grown. Tell me about what's available for it now. Right, so we kind of started out doing uh, John Deere uh, 50 series, so 75 and 90, um, and then up to the 5100s, and, and then on the Kubota side, M5 tractors, both ROPs and CAB models. And now we're kind of rolling out some John Deere 6 e series of tractors and then new to us this year is the fence 700 series so that's oh, okay. excited a little yeah. more higher horsepower more, right more capability there right. um, and um, the opportunity to work with some different systems that that marry marry well with with what we have going on and it, it doesn't prevent the tractor from being used as a standard uh, driver in the seat tractor uh, it can still be operated man manually that's correct it has a autonomy mode and a manual mode and in manual mode the tractor runs just as factory um, the only difference is in order to shut down the tractor we have an actual kill switch on some of the uh, models that don't have CVT transmissions okay so. and of course that can can activate PTO or hydraulics all of those systems can be activated autonomously by the tractor to, to do the job that's program to do? Yes, both autonomously and remotely. Um, engage the PTO, disengage the PTO, um, work implements up and down using hydraulics and so on and so forth. So when a person owns one and wants it to go out and do a job, uh, what's the process? How, how does that work? What would he do? Well, so our system, it's all in the setup. So initially we're taking the unit, we're recording a field boundary with the tractor. A lot of times it helps to have a specified implement. Um, then we set up, virtually we set up what our real life setup looks like. We take some measurements and make sure everything's squared away there. That way we have our clearances. Um, once we have our field boundary, we might record any um, non-traversable holes within the field, wet spots or obstacles that are there um, permanently. Um, and then once we have all those things mapped, we can put some information into our path planner as far as heading angle, number of headland passes, and then it'll generate a path. It'll display it on a rendering, uh, on our interface has a rendering. Um, you can even sort of hit like a playback that'll demonstrate the path the tractor's taking. And then when everything's to your liking, you can establish that as a mission send it to the tractor and then send it on its way. Now, can a farm manager or, or an owner monitor the tractor while it's working? Absolutely, yeah. So our interface allows um, full monitoring while it's, while it's running. It allows remote activation and deactivation of the PTO. Um, also, through our remote valves, you can control the, the implement um, positioning. And then you can also pause the tractor use the cameras on the on the on our mount there to see what's you know nearby surroundings and then you can also shut down the tractor completely so if the tractor encountered something it didn't expect what would happen so our obstacle detection system on the front would um, predict you know how long before the tractor was going to have a collision and it would actually pause the tractor in that instance it would um, automatically take a photo and so if you weren't somewhere, somewhere near the field, you could, you know, through our interface, look at the photos, 
make sure the coast is clear and if you need to continue it on its mission or make a decision to shut it down at that point. So now you guys are uh, based in the U.S., but you, you're now uh, having this uh, system retailed in Canada. So mm -hmm. how, who, who would a producer or anyone interested here in this country see to, to, in, to check this out and maybe get the system for themselves? Yeah, currently the main point of contact is GPS Ontario. GPS so Ontario. Jordan Wallace would be the man to get a hold of if you're interested in demoing this specific unit. Um, we like to just bring it out, put it on farm, and, and see how it works. Uh, show growers, you know, how to run it, and then and then see what they can do with it, and see if it if it fits their operation. So, kind of giving them a, a taste of an autonomous machine working on their farm, and if it see if it works for them. Absolutely, absolutely. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Thank you.